Good morning, John. It's been a time. It's been a week. It's been a month. It's been a year. The Perseverance rover is on the surface of Mars. The Project for Awesome was amazing. And John, it is time for me to do my first ever inaugural meme review. And I have asked Nerdfighteria if it's okay for this video to be long. And they said yes, because it has to be. We must do the memes justice. Now, most of you are thinking right now, oh, that's nice. Hank's got a picture of the Perseverance rover's first image of Mars behind him. Close! The beans didn't stop coming! That's right, Beanie Sandferbs, you're famous! They love you! Everybody loves you! I'm aware that not everybody loves Beanie Sandferbs. We don't have to let them know that, though. I have to apologize for one thing, is that, which is that I, I downloaded all these throughout the Project for Awesome, and so I didn't like maintain any context. I have no idea who made any of these things. So up front, let me say thank you to everyone who made these. Like, these aren't things that just appeared out of the ether. People worked hard to make this stuff. Sometimes more hard than other times. Some people worked hours on things, some less than that. John, on my desktop, I got a folder called Bean Bee, and it contains four other folders. Bean memes, just beans, normal memes, and art. So we're gonna go through a selection of, of each one of those. Let's start with just normal memes. This was the one that started out the project for Awesome for me. It's Sue from Glee, and the thing that I like about this so much is it could have been, I am going to donate to a project that is so awesome. That's the choice I would make, but this choice is so much better. It's me, I am once again asking for your financial support. We're starting with project for Awesome specific memes here. There shouldn't be too many beans here. Uh, well, the, here's one. Ah, dang it, that didn't take long. Look, I was having a hard time saying Beanie Sand Verbs for a long time, uh, so I've ended up with a lot of cards. This is a good one. Project for Awesome Perks, they take time to make, and, uh, and I want to be careful, <laughs> which I have not been in the past, that I do not end up in a situation where I'm over-promising on my ability. So this pink blob is just all the other stuff that I have to do. <laughs> I love, that's what I look like. That is an accurate picture of my face right there. <laughs> a spray-painted anglerfish is something that can actually be so personal. My strange addiction? I'm constantly donating! Yeah! Good kitties. I love the memes that are encouraging donations, and there's plenty of them. This is another one, when the matching fun hits. A large donation the size of a small donation is completely blocking ease. It's the boulder. It's the boulder meme, you guys. Brain scrambled egg. Wallet P for A. It's a dangerous day to get paid, um, was a, was the tagline of like the Project for Awesome 2014 or something. It's true. Look, we're not denying it. It's harder to make good, sound financial decisions during the Project for Awesome. Give directly to P4A. Do not pass go. Please donate $200. Thank you to everybody who followed their Monopoly card. Look, the Project for Awesome does make me feel better about the future. And humanity. More money irresponsibility. Yeah. Oh, this one's good! The Project for Awesome Digital Bundle. It's got all the infinity stones in it. You can't help yourself. I mean, it is. Okay, it is. Watch the P4A and you buy your perk early and donate to charity, but you keep watching the live stream, but more cool perks come out, so you donate again! There is no separating ourselves from the universe and Beanie Sandferbs. Well, it's not like we created these personas for a YouTube channel. That's just how he is. And this is just how I am. Oh, uh, Flula started to call me Billy Hank because my first name is William. Uh, and then somebody made this. I love it. <laughs> I love how as I've gotten older in this photograph, my head really sank like down to my sternum. I'm sure that Post Malone gets compared to every person who writes on their face. And I'm sure that that's not fun for Post Malone. But it's fun for me. Thank God Catherine came out. I thought I was gonna write names on my own face in a mirrored image? No, I can't, I can't cut a single hair off my head in the mirror. I can barely shave. Moving on to just bean memes. All of these are bean memes. It's nearly as many as all of the other memes put together. This one sparks joy. Glenn and Dale of the Glen. they were our mascots last year. Our mascot this year, this one does not spark joy. Look, look. God, he can hear you. Oh, I have nothing to say. He is so big. I guess I had that to say. I just had that one thing to say. I love it. And so does Harry. Harry loves it too. Beanie Sandferbs is better than Dave the Fish. Changed my mind. And it's Beanie Sandferbs sitting at the table, so you're not going to be able to. As soon as somebody posted a traced out picture of Beanie Sandferbs, it all was lost. More Beanie Sandferbs. That's me turning my back on Dave the Fish, a previous Project for Awesome mascot, to focus solely on Beanie Sandferbs. And I didn't even have Dave the Fish this year. Stonk is me now. Stonk is not just Adam Levine for men mixed with Adam Levine for women. Change my mind. It's got the DFTVA mugs. That's so good. It's not. I don't know where everybody got this idea. And then the comeback. Beanie Sandferbs coming back. This one sparks joy. This one does not spark joy. Take that, Glenn of the Glen. Now it's just Beanie Sandferbs asking for your financial support. Look, 
We were all asking for your financial support. It's the Project for Awesome. I really like this one. Thank you for changing Project for Awesome. I'm literally a deeply disturbing Furby made out of beans. People, again, hating on Beanie Sand Furbs. It goes both ways. For example, I don't want to see a normal Furby. No. Do I want to see a Bean Furby? Yes, Drake does. Beanie Sand Furb isn't a bad P4A mascot. I'm giving a presentation. You guys are just Bean. <laughs> No. And also, yes. Oh, I like this one. I don't know what they did, but they made it look like this was almost part of a comic. I don't. Maybe that just is a picture of their computer screen. It it isn't because that's the same picture and that doesn't have that artifact. They made it look like it was part of a newspaper. My reflection staring back at me from this from the black screen when Project for Awesome ends. I that face that you're making when the when it fades to black and you can see yourself. Beanie Sandfurbs. This is 100% true. Oh my God! I hate. Hate that. What kind of color corrected to his skin tone? That wasn't necessary. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, all beans. That was kind of the tagline of the Project for Awesome this year. And I love that they surrounded where the cereal was with beans. They outlined it and put some beans in. Got Beanie Sand Furbs as the stonks guy, but it's beans. And that does it for our bean memes. Now we must move on to a, a category that is labeled just beans. So this isn't even memes. Bean Show, the SciShow logo, it's hosted by Beanie Sandfurbs. Beans for Awesome Project, and it's got beans. Beanie Styles, fashion forward. This is a picture from me from like, I don't know, fifth grade maybe? With B Beanie Sandfurbs face? This is a choice that someone made. Here we have not the only Beanie Sandfurbs Valentine I've seen. This is Perseverance Rover with Beanie Sandfurbs aboard. Thank goodness. Someone during the project, we weren't even done yet, had knitted a Beanie Sandfurbs or crocheted or whatever that is. Art, that should be in the art folder. Someone has made my child into a large Beanie Sandfurbs. More art, wrong folder. Chugger of beans, destroyer of worlds. That's me. God, those were hot beans. The effort. Like, how did you make the WandaVision logo so perfectly where did you find the font? And I'm there. It's me, and I've got the vision thingy in my head. Oh, God. Inspiration. It's inspired. It carries so much emotion. The mustache, the, the stuff on the head, the eyes, the downcast eyes. And this was one of the very first things I saw. It was Beanie Sanford's hatching out of the Chicago Bean. It's John Lima Bean, Hank Bean. And it's got some musical notes. And I don't know why. God, that is some high quality turning Bernie Sanders into Beanie Sanford. During the project, this kind of messed me up for a little bit. I could, I, I, I had to like host a charity live stream, but I was so preoccupied with the long, long, long Beanie Sanfords with all of the legs. Do you guys believe I interviewed Barack Obama and also that I didn't cut my hair beforehand? They told me to show up how I would normally dress. And then I got there and they were like, we're gonna need to take you to a store. I should have given him some beans. Travis McElroy was on the stream while this happened. Was he offended? A little bit. And then this, which turned into a Project for Awesome perk, it's a laser etched and laser cut Beanie Sanford's coaster. Which means we have only one category left. It's the category called art. This is just gr gross ice cream alive, living gross ice cream with beans raining down. You can't forget that they took the time to have a background of bean rain. This is Choppa's amazing Beanie Sanford's cake. I didn't get to see like the moment where you know, the knife goes through the cake, which I kind of wish I, I had gotten that opportunity. And also I love, I'd love to have a bite, but I also didn't get that opportunity. Does it taste like baked beans? I know that there are bean cakes. I've had them before. They're not usually in Australia, but who knows? God, it's so shiny. Oh man, if there's anything <laughs> like slimier than Beanie Sanford's, it's cake bean. Wow, thank you, Choppa. Lollipop the skunk after doing finger painting. Oh God, it's too cute. It doesn't belong here. It doesn't belong with all these cursed images. This is just good. I, I like that, you know, you didn't go all in on this shiny. Beanie Sanford's drawn with circles, like John's been doing those circle drawings. It's a little bit touching which it shouldn't be. This one is just uh, leaning a bit more into the shiny. Looking kind of like uh, an arrangement of dried beans, which makes it uh, much more pleasing to the eye, though the flesh-colored background doesn't really spark joy. I, my heart, when I saw this one, look at this art. Look at this freaking Bud Fartman, Hank Green, Dr. Seuss, 
carrying green eggs and ham on its finger? How is this possible? I do not like that Sanford bean. I do not like it. It is obscene. I do not like it in the dark. I do not like it in my heart. I do not like it on the stream. Its presence cannot be unseen. I do not like it in the night. Bean Sanford's gives me a fright. It hurts my brain. It hurts my eyes. But worst of all, I do despise that beanie furb. This is absurd. This could be said with the curse word. But then that curse word would be blurred. I think this is in British accent. I'll say it loud. I'll say it clear. That Sanford's gives me nerdfighteria. Which is a, a flula joke. So threw in a flula joke on top of all of it. I died. Mm, I almost missed this one. It's a, it's a pelican made out of shiny beans. Just a Beanie Saucy Pelican. I, it's so good. It's so good. I don't want to say it's not good. Oh my god, everything about it is so good. I don't like it. I love pelicans and I love beans. And I love the Project for Awesome. Like, look at this bean-covered Project for Awesome heart. Oh my god, it's so good. I, but I can't, I can't like it. It's too curt. This is a thing that I dislike and like at this, like at the same intensity. And the intensity of both is very high. I'm new to that emotion. That's a new one for me. I'm 40 years old. That doesn't happen often. Oh, but this one I just love. All the different paper spiral circles, they're made into shapes of beans. The gradients are perfect. It's much more pleasing to look at than actual beanie sandfurbs. I mean, this blew me away when I saw it. Boxman, the superhero of the Project for Awesome. Not enough Boxman was happening. Love it so much. This is Beanie Sanford's cross stitch. Really, very good. I just love being a part of this with people. It just seems like such an extraordinary opportunity that like we didn't know we were getting ourselves into. And then the results are these just wonderful moments. Chalky milk make pain go away. Um, I don't know how to explain that one. And then our last piece of art is this absolutely gorgeous, I don't know what to call this kind of art. But it's got the little 2021 tag. His, his eyes are perfect. There's a lot of time and energy and effort went into this cursed bean boy. I don't want to overstate this, but it's these contributions to, to community that make me really feel like I'm a part of something. And that's a really valuable thing, feeling like you're a part of a community, feeling like you're a part of change in the world. And the Project for Awesome makes a really big change. It makes a change in my heart. It makes impact in the real world. We're gonna be able to distribute a ton of money to a ton of different charities. It's gonna have a lot of real world impact, but it also, I think, has real world impact on the people who participate, whether they are stitching weird bean Furbies, donating, hanging out in the Project for Awesome chat, making memes, creating ideas, just singing digitally, we're here because we're here, because we're here, because we're here. All of that is super valuable. And I think it can also be kind of hard to find these days. So thank you so much for everyone for being a part of this community, whether you are around for the Project for Awesome or not. Thank you to everybody who made stuff, who volunteered, who was on the live stream. Thanks to all the mods and the core team, people who did designs, who are organizing, who scheduled. It was a, It's a ton of work to make this thing come together, but its value when we all come together to create it is far beyond what all of us together put in. Like we all put in work, but the value that comes out is just way bigger than the work put in. And what else can we ask for as people? So thank you to everybody who was part of it. And John, I'll see you on Tuesday.